I'm about to make my final vows this Saturday, November 23rd. I came into community in 2008 as a candidate. I um, grew up Jewish into a secular household. Over my whole entire life, I felt that God was present to me in ways that my family did not feel. Only in hindsight could I really recognize that through the cross, God was really calling me. And in ways I knew that, but didn't know what it was about, so it kind of always was pushed somewhere deep and not really in front of me. However, as I grew up, um, it became more and more apparent that that cross was something important for me. I became a nurse and then um, became a neonatal nurse practitioner and I um, was a very happy woman. I had made a lovely um, amount of money and loved to share it with people. I've traveled many places. I've had beautiful things, diamonds, all those trappings that <laughs> I really thought were um, important for me. A touch point for my call, I would say, was in 1999 of October. My parents were visiting from Florida. I was living in Connecticut, and my mother picked up a very bad bacterial infection. In three weeks, she died. And I was given the blessing, actually, to care for her while she was in the hospital. I was the chaplain in some way for my family, although I wouldn't have used that term then. And from there on, there were little things that kept happening to me. Um, I knew that God was somehow saying to me something was coming. I had joined a temple after my mother died, and a year or so later, I looked around the temple, and the fire that was within me had kind of died out. And when I was looking, I really, I stood there and said, what is it? What am I missing? And there was no cross. And since the cross had called for me from when I was little, I, all of a sudden I said, ah, this is the something. And it was to become Catholic, I knew that much. I was going to mass every day after I worked nights as a nurse practitioner. And then a couple of months later, there were some call stories. And I swear that I heard the priest, instead of saying Peter or Paul or whomever, Janet. I heard him say Janet. And I heard him say that two or three days in a row. And there were two sisters in our community who were at the parish where I finally entered into the um, Catholic faith. And they were Sister Joan and Sister uh, Margaret Brennan. I got to um, be invited to their home for prayer and um, dinner. And that went over for a couple of months. And it was they who then invited me to speak with the vocation sister. And really it's from there that my journey into the congregation of Notre Dame began. I entered into um, my candidate year where I'm working still, but I'm also now living in the convent. So you have one foot in the real world and one foot into the world that you're not quite sure of yet. But there's a freedom and now you're making choices. And then it was approved for me then to take the next step to the novitiate, which was another two years in Chicago. And then after that, um, I then made my first vows. And now nine years later, I sit here in front of this camera and I am going to make my final vows uh, on, like I said, Saturday the 23rd. I am the 7,228th sister since Marguerite Bourgeois. So, since the day she started the congregation, that's my number. So, which means that from that first sister to me, this congregation has been doing God's work. She was a visionary, prophetic, strong woman, crosses oceans, <laughs> goes to a country that she doesn't know what to expect, faces death, fear, goes back. I want to be like her.